If you've come to this video wondering, can you really get something for free in Switzerland? I have good news for you. In this video, I will tell you, based on my own experiences, what is the best bank account for your daily banking needs. And spoiler alert, it's going to be free. One disclaimer first. This video is from the perspective of a single EU citizen with at least a B permit without complex financial situation. If you are from outside EU, especially US, have only L permit or are looking for a joint account, the solution might not work for you. Also, this video is not sponsored, but I may use affiliate links in the description. Once people arrive in Switzerland, there are three ways how they end up choosing their bank account. One, you already have friends in the country and ask them which bank account you should choose. Two, your employer has a deal with one of the major banks and you end up taking that deal. Or three, you try to Google all the alternatives available, get overwhelmed by all the possible options and eventually just walk to whatever bank is closest to your home and they'll attempt to open an account. In my case, I was the last one. I still remember myself four years ago when I first arrived in Switzerland sitting in my small room trying to wrap my head around the different bank accounts. Due to the fact that I had just started my new job, moved to a new country where I barely knew anyone and was navigating through loads of requirements from the local government, I ended up choosing the easy way. I knew that I could not spend more time researching as the HR at my new job was already breathing on my neck. Therefore, the next day, I walked in one of the major banks and told them that I needed a bank account. But as I walked out of the bank with my brand new account, I already knew that this is going to be far from optimal. It didn't take too long before I started to face my first issues. When I received my card, I realized that it was a Maestro card. For those who are not familiar with this type of card, like me at the time, you can only use the card to do withdrawals from ATMs or pay at the payment terminal. You cannot use the card for online payments or for example, paying for your Spotify subscription. This also means that Apple Pay is out of question. A massive disappointment for me. Second, logging in the online bank requires a separate Patty Bauer device to get a changing pin code for login. Maybe a good for security, but for everyday usability, total pain in the ass. I'm used to handle all my banking via the apps in my phone, so you can guess that this little device was always in the wrong place at the time when I would have needed it. Last, the mobile app was filled with features after features like investment advice and stock trackers, most of them totally useless for me. This made the user experience, let's say, not optimal. The final nail in the coffin was when I received a notification on the fees that I would have to pay the second year. I remember walking home from work, stopping in the middle of the street, thinking to myself, there must be a better option. So when I got home, I went straight to my computer and started my research. I started by listing the criteria for my new bank account. I had three must-haves. One, the bank must have a simple to use mobile app without unnecessary clutter. Two, I must be able to use the card for online payments and Apple Pay. And three, the basic banking setup must be free. I also had other nice to have criteria, for example, unlimited cash withdrawal, possibility for e-bill, English language support, and other potential perks the bank might offer, for example, discounts on movie tickets. Out of these, the English language may even be a must-have for you if you don't speak any local language, as dealing with issues, for example, calling the customer support would be significantly harder. With these criteria, I went through all the different banks' offers. I checked UBS, Credit Suisse, Post Finance, Raiffeisen, cantonal banks like Zurich Cantonal Bank or Zucker Cantonal Bank. I also checked the newer online bank offers like U, Yapil, Credit Suisse, CSX. Majority of the banks were disqualified as they did not offer a truly free option. Some might have had options that looked free at first, but then would charge you on basic functions like cash withdrawal. Others might have provided the account and the card for free, but only if you kept an account balance high enough. This would not work for me as I'm looking to keep my money working in my investments rather than losing value on the bank account. In the end, I had two contestants left, Bankler Zuck and Neon. Both are online only offers that you operate fully through their mobile apps. To properly find out which one was better, I opened an account with both banks. At the time of recording, I've used both accounts for multiple years and been switching between the two as my main account to fully understand them. 
Based on my experiences with the two, I can confidently say that we have a clear winner. And the winner is... Neon. They both fulfill the must-have categories, but Neon is almost always just slightly bit better than Tuck on the nice-to-haves. In my opinion, Neon has better looking app and a better user experience. It has the possibility to receive e-bills, whereas Tuck does not. When it comes to cash withdrawals, Neon has two free withdrawals per month in any ATM in Switzerland, whereas Tuck has unlimited free withdrawals but only at Bankler ATMs, which are not that many. And most importantly, Neon is also available in English, whereas Tuck is not. At this point, you might think to yourself, Nah, my banking setup is just fine. It only costs me a few francs per month, so it's not such a big deal. But I want you to think the following. Which would bring you more joy? Spending your money on unnecessary banking fees or with the same money surprising your significant other with flowers this weekend. 